let's actually bring it all together into a single productivity workflow. Here's an example workflow for a YouTube video production process, but you can use this for any process that you use repeatedly, like keeping track of investment ideas, travel, or workout routines. First, we capture our YouTube ideas in notes. Now, anytime I have an idea, I add a note. I'll add a title and key points. Sometimes I might add supporting materials like images or links. And next, I'll add the note to my reminders. I drop the note into my YouTube list in reminders, and this creates a reminder linked to the detailed note. Then I'll add subtasks. For instance, for YouTube ideas, I can add research, scripting, filming, whatever I like. And for reminders that do not have a lot of subtasks or that are a one-off, typing in each subtask isn't a big deal. But what if I have a large number of subtasks that I don't want to type in each time? For instance, my actual YouTube process has 30 or 40 steps. The Reminders app doesn't currently offer a way to automatically populate your reminders with a large number of subtasks. However, you can create an Apple shortcut to automate this, but that is a different video. Next, I can set due dates and times to the top task or subtasks, and they will show up in my calendar. This is an optional step for me depending on if something is time sensitive or if I need to just keep moving down the list.